Have you ever wondered what the best shelves are for storing your DVDs and Blu-rays? Well, if so, look no further because this video is all about that. I'm going to be talking about my shelves and why I think they are the best in the world and an essential for any Blu-ray collector. Hello, my name's Elliot and this channel is all about collecting Blu-rays. When I say they're the best on the market, I'm not exaggerating because I've had a number of different shelves over the years and I was very particular with what I wanted from a shelf and I just couldn't find it until I came across this exact model. So I'm going to include links in the description below where you can buy these shelves from Amazon in the US and in the UK. And if you happen to use those links to buy anything, then I get a referral fee from Amazon at no additional cost to you. So it helps support the channel and it's a win-win. You get these amazing shelves and I can afford to buy a coffee. So without further ado, let's get closer and have a look at these shelves. So I've moved in a bit closer. You can see that I'm actually focusing on my Criterion collection because I thought I'd show them some love. And I'm going to show you how tall these shelves are. I'd say they're about seven foot tall. I don't have the exact measurement to hand at the moment, but I'll show you from the floor upwards. So you can see my lovely floor there and this is how many you can fit in basically. So you get an idea of how many films you can actually pack into one case. And you can see on the top there, I've actually double stacked all of my box sets just because I've been running out of room lately. And I've been having to be, you know, as efficient as I can with my space. So I've got them all along there. That's mostly Arrow Video and Indicator and some Second Sight stuff. So back in the middle now, you'll see that these shelving units are actually broken up into little rectangles that can hold a certain amount of films. One of the reasons this is so good is because it actually adds to the sturdiness and the stability of the shelves. So there's more support in each of these little rectangles. So it means that no matter the weight of the films, the shelves won't break or they won't start to bend. So it's absolutely perfect in that regard because you don't have to worry about damaging your shelves or, or having to replace them in the future. So I've moved in closer to have a look at one of these rectangular units. But before I go any further, I'll just mention that I actually have two sets of these shelves. So this is one here and then I have another one right next to it here. So each one is made up of three of these rectangles and they're 10 tall. So that means in total in one of these shelving units, you have 30 of these. So that actually packs in a lot of Blu-rays. So in each one of these rectangular units, you can actually store 20 standard Blu-ray cases. So if you've got 20 here, you can very easily just slip your fingers in to pull one of these out. So if I pull one out at random, totally random film that I've just pulled out there, you can see it slots out quite easily, very accessible. Because I know some people in the past have asked me, are these shelves really tight in terms of getting things out and actually you know, are they crammed in there? Well, they're not. I've got 20 films in each one of these and they're very easily accessible. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out these criterions from this shelf and the one above it. And I'll just show you how adjustable each shelf actually is. So I've now emptied out this shelf and I'll just show you how these shelves are actually adjusted. So if I just go up a bit to here, you'll see the shelf here and you'll notice that there are these holes in the side. Now, these are where you can adjust the pegs to go to. So the shelf itself just actually lifts up like this and you just pull it out and you will see that there are these little silver pegs here and you can just take one of these out and you can just put it into a new hole and you can do the same with the rest. And that makes these shelves very adjustable. The adjustability of these shelves means you can change them to store DVDs. So you'd obviously need a bit more headroom. You could store books or plants or toys or whatever you wanted on these. They really are adjustable and you could have one shelf at a particular height and the one next along to it can be a different height. So they really are modular in terms of what height level you want each shelf to be. Obviously, I've got them set at the perfect height for Blu-rays because there's no wasted space in the height and there's not really much wasted space here in the width as well. So for me, they are absolutely perfect. 
If you're enjoying this video about Blu-ray collecting, please do consider subscribing to the channel because you would hear about these videos as soon as they get uploaded and you could join this awesome community that we have here. Anyway, back to these shelves. One of the main selling points for these shelves, for me in particular, was the depth of each shelf. And what I mean by this is, in the past I've had certain other shelves, such as the Billy line from Ikea, and I found that the actual depth of the shelf meant there was a lot of wasted space when I was storing Blu-rays. So if I put a film on the shelf now, it's a particular brilliant film this one, if I push it all the way to the end, there's barely any wasted space in the front, and it just sits nice and flush. In the past when I had those Billy bookcases, uh, the edge of the shelf would actually come out much further, so it meant that if I wanted my Blu-rays to look flush on the shelves like they are now, I'd have to pull them forward and there would be a lot of wasted space behind. So in terms of efficiency, other shelves just didn't cut it compared to these. So I believe these are the perfect depth for Blu-rays. There's no overhang, but also there's barely any wasted space. The particular depth of these shelves means that in terms of how far the shelves come out from the wall, it's only the depth of one Blu-ray case. And this is perfect if you are living in an apartment or you only have a spare room like I do that doesn't have much space. You're saving so much space compared to, say, the Billy bookcases from Ikea because they only come out of the wall so far and it just means you've got more room to play with. In terms of how sturdy and safe these shelves are, they have this lip at the bottom running along the floor. So this adds extra stability, meaning that it hopefully shouldn't topple over. Uh, but in my case, I have actually fastened these with brackets to the wall just in case. But to be honest, I had them for ages not bracketed to the wall and they never fell over, they never wobbled. And that was with a full case of Blu-rays on there. So in terms of stability, you don't have to worry about these toppling over. One potential downside is if you've got a certain Blu-ray release in special packaging or in a hardbound case uh, such as this one, fitting it in the shelf sometimes can be a bit tight. Um, so in cases like that, you may want to make the shelves a tiny bit taller. Or like me, most of my hardbound box sets such as this are stored on top of the shelves. So it's totally up to you, but just be careful when putting these thicker box sets in because you obviously don't want to damage the box set sliding it in and out. In terms of build quality and construction, they come in flat pack just like an IKEA purchase, so you will have to build it yourself. There are instructions included, but they're not quite as clear as IKEA standards, but very intuitive and I was able to put one of these cases together in about two hours. But I would recommend having someone else there just in case you need help uh, propping it up and putting certain bits together because it can be a bit tricky if you're just doing it on your own. The actual quality of the wood that it's made from is, is decent and I didn't have any chips or cracks or anything like that in the wood. So I think in terms of an overview that pretty much covers the features of these shelves. They are fairly simple but I think simple is best and they're the right specifications for my own needs in terms of depth and sturdiness and just efficiency. There's hardly any wasted space with these shelves. If you do have any further questions about these shelves, by all means, just drop a comment down below because I'll answer any questions you have about them. I'll be happy to help you out because I genuinely think these are the best shelves on the market. And I think everyone should at least consider getting these shelves because they really are the best I've come across. I hope you enjoyed that little tour around the shelves that house my Blu-ray collection. Again, if you did enjoy these shelves and if you want to buy them yourself, by all means check out the Amazon links in the description below because it'll help support the channel and you can get these amazing shelves before they sell out. Before I go, I want to thank my Patreon supporters, particularly my Fellini fanatics. I'll include your names on the screen right now. And if you've not checked out my Patreon already, go to patreon.com forward slash boutique blu-rays and you can gain access to a load of exclusive videos and you can join our private community so again check it out and just see if it's your kind of thing 
If you want to stick around on the channel, by all means, just click one of the videos that's going to be suggested to you now, because I'm sure you could find many a good recommendation for a new Blu-ray or something like that. I'll be back very soon with more videos, so until then, stay well and keep watching great films.